Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to implement navigation bar in Flutter using Riverpod. Here I have created this project. After that, in the pubspec.yml file, in the dependencies, I have taken Flutter Riverpod, Riverpod annotation, and in dev dependencies, I have taken Riverpod generator and build runner. Now let me move to main.dart. In main.dart, you can see that the root widget, that is my app, is wrapped inside provider scope. And this my app is extending the stateless widget. And in the build method, I have returned a material app. And in the home, I have taken the widget my home page. Now, this my home page is extending the consumer widget. And in the build method, I have returned a scaffold. And in the body of the scaffold, I have taken center widget. And as a child of the center widget, I have taken a text widget having the text as navigation bar. Now, if I run this, then we will get an output like this. Now, here, what I will do is that. In the scaffold, let me remove this body and here I will use bottom navigation bar. In the bottom navigation bar, here I will use navigation bar and let me use the property that is destinations. In destinations here, we need to use navigation destination and it will take some parameters as you can see icon and label now here let me give the first property as selected icon in selected icon i will use icon then icons dot home and for icon here let me copy this paste it here and here instead of home I will use home outline in the label here I will use home after that let me use const here now let me copy this and let me paste it two times now for the second one here i will use the selected icon as browse gallery and in the icon here i will use browse gallery outlined and in label here i will use gallery and for the third navigation destination here I will use person it will be person outline and here I will give the label as account now let me run this now if I can show you the output then you can see home gallery and out account has been displayed now for this navigation bar here I will use selected index means initially the selected index will be zero means home will be selected by default fine and here I will use indicator color as colors dot deep purple dot set of 200 let me save this now once I save this then you can see this indicator color here right after that whenever we will click on this gallery then we should move to gallery and whenever I will click on account then we should move to account to do that here we have on destination selected what it will take it will take the value that is the index to which I am clicking because the home will have the index position as 0, gallery will have the index position as 1 and account will have the index position as 2. Means whenever I will click on home then this value will contain 0. If I click on gallery then the value will contain as 1 and if I click on account then this value will contain the value as 2. Now what code I will write here that I will discuss later on. Now 
here in the leaf folder you can see here I have created some, some files account.dart it is a simple stateless widget and in the center I have displayed the text as account for gallery it is gallery and for home it is home now here in the leaf folder I will create one more file that is navigation notifier dot dot and here I need to create a class navigation notifier which will extend dollar sorry underscore dollar navigation notifier and to this class here I will use at the rate river pod let me move to pubspec.ml let me save this file it will get the dependencies now once it get the dependencies let me move to navigation notifier and here I will import this library now here I will override the build method and this build method will return the initial value as zero because whenever I will launch the application then by default this home will be selected and it will have the index position as zero that's why here I am returning zero and here I will create one more method void set selected index it will take index as its argument and whatever value stored in this index that will assign to the state so state equals to index means if I click on gallery then it will have the index position as 1 so 1 will be stored here and that 1 will be stored as the state similarly if I click on account then it will have the index position is 2 this means 2 will be stored here and that will be the value of the state now after writing this let me move to the terminal and in the terminal I need to run the command dot run build underscore runner watch and here I will use part navigation underscore notifier dot g dot dot now let me hit enter here it will take some time okay now all the files has been generated by this command and you can see that all the error has gone now let me move to main dot dot now in main dot dot in the build here I will declare a variable final index equals to ref dot watch and here I can use navigation notifier provider so this index will contain the index position that is 0 1 or 2 and here in selected index I will pass index fine now whenever this on destination selected this method will be called whenever I will click on these items that is gallery and account and whenever these items will be clicked at that time here I can call a ref dot read and then here navigation notifier provider dot notifier then I will call the set selected index method and here I will pass the value and the value as I discussed it will contain the index position of the selected bottom navigation item fine now after that here in the body let it be a array array of widgets here I will use const of home then const of gallery all these widgets I have created already as I discussed and const of account and after that here it will contain index that's it now let me run this now once I run this then we get output like this as you can see 
by default whenever i have launched the application this home icon has been selected and in the body the home widget has been displayed and in the home widget i have displayed home text that's why home is visible here if i click on gallery then you can see gallery is selected and gallery is displayed and if i click on account then account is selected and this account text has been displayed here this is how we can use the navigation bar in flutter with the help of riverpod and material 3 thank you so much for watching